For the Chiefs, the 2003 season ended with a devastating playoff loss to the Colts. Crowd level up, second down, 12. Back to throw is Manning. Throws one over the middle, Stokely's in, touchdown! The empty feeling of January's defeat echoed through Arrowhead Stadium. But in the NFL, the rise of a new season gives hope. With their offense returning intact, surely the Chiefs were destined for another postseason. But in 2004, the Chiefs learned destiny is no matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. It's not a thing to wait for. It's a thing to achieve. DeLow in trouble. He gets rid of the football to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown, Carolina. In a 7-9 season, the Chiefs lost only two games by more than a touchdown. And in every defeat, the Chiefs seemed only one play away. Every face has to be challenged. Every face has to go to work. Get your mind right. And we're going to come out with a victory, baby. Get your mind right. Have faith. Despite finishing with a losing record, the Chiefs led the league in total offense for the first time, averaging over 418 yards per game and set a franchise record with 58 offensive touchdowns. Despite injuries and inexperience on defense, a few guiding lights were found. Even in defeat, players like Eric Warfield showed how the Kansas City defense never gave up. Intercepted by Warfield, up the left sideline, touchdown! Though the Chiefs stumbled in the beginning of the season, they found their balance and re-established themselves as one of the most exciting teams in pro football. On Monday night, the Chiefs arrived in Baltimore, searching for their first win of the season. It's all about tonight. It's the only one that counts. You put your mind and your focus into this one. This is the only one that counts. Nine on three. One, two, three. Nine. Let's go. Let's go in this one box. Let's go. Pro Bowlers Willie Rolfe and Tony Richardson immediately went to work on silencing Ray Lewis and Baltimore's vaunted defense. It's going to take two of y'all. It's going to take two of y'all. It's going to take two of y'all. It would be a tough job. Assigned to the task was Chiefs guard number 54, Brian Waters. What? What? Deal with me then. And Waters did just that. On the Monday night stage, Waters showed why he would join Will Shields and Willie Rolfe in the Pro Bowl. Together with center Casey Wigman and right tackle John Wellborn, the Chiefs formed the best offensive front in football. The Ravens have yet to give up a touchdown in the first half this year. Trent Green fires over the middle. He's got Jason Dunn. Touchdown! As one of the best blocking tight ends in the business, Dunn is primarily used as an extension to Kansas City's offensive line. But his combination of size and strength also make him an excellent target in Kansas City's passing game. The Chiefs offense continued to push forward fighting for their first win, one play at a time. The Chiefs veteran playmakers inspired young teammates, like backup receiver Chris Horn. Hey, you still catch Chris Horn right down here, though? I mean, he probably can't jump, but can't catch. <laughs> it wasn't long before the Chiefs were knocking at the Ravens' door again. Power play, off tackle left, Horn switch for the block. He dies in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Great job, bro. <sighs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with me. It's nothing wrong with me. Can I test my breath, please? So way to score with your great. man, man. Good job. Great job. Knock your in the end zone. Good job. Good job. Their defensive front is sucking wind, guys. Keep nailing their... their. Their defense is sucking right now. Keep nailing their. Sam's upfield on his own 42. He's got some running room. 45 midfield. Cuts back over the middle. 45 40. He's got a seam. He's at the 30. Couldn't go. Just before halftime, DJ Sam's returned a punt to tie the game at 17. Yes. Roll the clock. Get first down. Finish it. 
them all. Finish them all. Oh, y'all thought y'all was getting out of here easy. Oh, no. Under the glare of the Monday Night Lights, Kansas City would continue to execute their run game to perfection. Run it right at Ray. Run it right at In a 60-minute game, the Chiefs held the ball for 39 minutes and 43 seconds. Their five scoring drives consumed nine plays or more while running back Priest Holmes ran for 125 yards. Best line in the NFL, breaks the huddle. Wegman grabs the football. At the goal line, the Chiefs unleashed their Pro Bowl propelled front five to secure the victory. Green, Kenner play left the hole, he does! Touchdown, Kansas City! And you give credit to the big guys up front. Chiefs run a power O play, taking the right guard shields, moving in left, Priest diving in. Pro Bowler following a Pro Bowler. Uh, there's no way, there ain't no way, there's no way possible. There ain't no way possible, man. Start painting the game balls, boys, because <laughs> I'd right. give five of them to that offensive line. I, I first, I want you guys to take a deep breath and realize what you just did. Realize what you just did. To come in here, a tough place to win, after three losses in a row, where some people were starting to doubt us and jump ship on us, and no one in this room jumped ship. So All we said now. is, give you everything you got, and then some, and you gave them some. It was great. It was absolutely outstanding. In week seven, the Chiefs returned to Kansas City. But in 2004, it seemed Arrowhead was giving opponents mixed signals. The Chiefs usually dominated their stadium, but hadn't won a game at home since the previous December. Finding that win in week seven wouldn't be easy against the best run defense in the league. There's one gets nothing on us. Nothing. Number one run defense in the league, baby. It's all that matters. Stop his from the get go. On the Chiefs' first snap, it was apparent they had yet to shake their early season woes. Despite the fumble, offensive coordinator Al Saunders remained confident in his game plan and his players. When the Chiefs opened their second drive, Saunders put the ball back in the hands of Priest Holmes. On this day, Priest Holmes and the offense made history. That is impressive. They're getting back to what they do best, and that is run with the football. In the first half alone, Priest accounted for 103 rushing yards and four touchdowns making him just the sixth player in NFL history to register four ground scores in a single half. Get in there! Get in there! Left side, Holmes Whoa. flies into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Chiefs are out of the huddle quickly, put the pressure on. Toss sweep, left, Holmes, one block, now two. Touchdown. Happy fun, happy fun! Holmes dives. He somersaults into the end zone. They are completely manhandling the Falcons all around the board. Man, has this thing turned around from the first four minutes of the game? Amazing. Priest Holmes, four first half touchdowns. Against the Falcons, it seemed the Chiefs finally hit a groove with Gunther Cunningham's new defensive system. Chiefs showing blitz again, crowding the line of scrimmage, shifting. Lineman. Eric Hicks, Lionel Dalton, Ryan Sims, and John Browning spearheaded the pressure on quarterback Michael Vick. The result was four sacks and no offensive touchdowns. Jared Allen recorded two of his nine season sacks, just one shy of tying Derek Thomas's rookie mark. But Cunningham wasn't just coaching the guys up front. They throw it my, they throw it my way, I got you. That's a promise. That's a promise. Is that a promise? Yeah. I heard it. 
Warfield kept his promise. Intercepted by Warfield. Is it the flex off Price? Get the heat on Michael Vick. He will throw it up for grabs, and he did that. The turnovers gave the offense more time to put the game out of reach. High right, the goal line, 20 blast. Shortly after the half, Derek Blaylock took over the Chiefs' running back duties. Thanks to the blocking by Pro Bowl fullback Tony Richardson, the Chiefs never lost a step. And he followed that guy by the name of Tony Richardson right into the end zone. Behind Richardson, Blaylock scored four times, helping the Chiefs rack up 271 rushing yards and eight touchdowns. Into the end zone, touchdown, Kansas City. Eight rushing touchdowns today. An all-time National Football League record. Four for Holmes, four for Blaylock. Outstanding. What can you say? You set an NFL record for rushing touchdowns today. Game ball, offensive and defensive coaching staffs, guys. They did a great job for you. They did a great job. Led by, led by Al Saunders and Gunny. They did a great job. And they deserve to be recognized. On Halloween, the Chiefs look to exercise the demons that ended their season in 2003. And while the Chiefs' defense had shown improvement, Week 8 had fans sitting on pins and needles. Think about what you did last week. Carry it over to the day. Think about what you need to do as men, as teammates. Take care of your responsibility, and let's get this thing done. Let's ride Let's do it, baby. Let's ride Let's ride Let's ride Let's ride three. One, two, three. Three. The Colts had returned to Arrowhead for one of the most anticipated games of 2004. In the first series, the NFL's highest scoring offense was shut down after four plays. But the Chiefs' job was far from over. You got a way to go and start. Remember, when you step in, put this right up on Oh, yeah, yeah, no. He, he, he hit, 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 and then just let go. Look at yourself. See how you're trying? You've got to stay square in your back pedal. You stay square in your back pedal, he stays square. He's so much you got to yeah, you just, just don't get turned as fast. In 2004, the Chiefs' defense was doing something they failed to do the previous year. They were forcing the Colts to punt. The improved Chiefs' pass rush never recorded a sack, but often pressured Manning to throw off target. Conversely, it seemed quarterback Trent Green in the Chiefs' offense couldn't be stopped. Green led the Chiefs to 590 yards of total offense. The throw is Green, a throw back to Gonzalez, and it's over the shoulder. Is that a beautiful throw or what? His 389 passing yards and three touchdowns earned him a quarterback rating of 143.8. Fires it late for the end zone. Great catch. Touchdown, Kansas City. And the Chiefs have a lead. With the Colts' defense on their heels, the Chiefs opened up their running attack. Priest Holmes' 225 combined yards from scrimmage made him the Chiefs' all-time leader in that category. 10, 5, touchdown! Priest Holmes, touchdown! Kansas City! Holmes running hard to Pater. In the second half, Manning caught fire and brought the Colts to within three points of the Chiefs. We got to go. We got to go, huh? Hey, all we got to do is work together. You got time. You got time. We'll make this work. Just keep hitting them. But no matter how much heat Manning brought, the Chiefs' offense continued to raise the temperature. Green over the middle. Touchdown, Tony Gonzalez. And the Chiefs take a stake and drive it into the heart of the Colts. Get this game get out of here. Yes. Here we go. Hell yeah. Now it's on the defense. We're going to do it. We did our job now. Let's go. Let's shoot them up. Let's go. Deep. 
In the battle between the highest scoring offenses, Manning took a shot in the end zone, and the Chiefs made sure it was his last. Manning to throw under pressure. Throws deep middle, the pass is intercepted. A second stake has been driven into the heart of the monster, this time by Greg Wesley. In 2004, Trent Green solidified himself as one of the most productive quarterbacks in Chiefs history. Trent, do your thing. We got close now. We got close. We got, we got some action eights. We got some seven pumps. We got some nine pumps. Oh, quick no. six on three. One, two, three. Quick, quick six. six. Green is the only Chiefs quarterback to start every game in four consecutive seasons. He has developed an uncanny ability to avoid the sack and keep the play alive. And he's sacked. Now he dumps it off. He dumps it off to Holmes. And Holmes breaks a tackle. Now moves left. Two downfield blocks. Angling left at the 10. Pushes into the end zone. Touchdown! A remarkable play by Trent Green. His career high and franchise record 4,591 passing yards ranks second in the NFL. What a throw by Trent Green. Perfect pass. He also had a career-high 27 touchdowns, thanks in part to a reliable receiver tandem. Caught by Kennison, behind the secondary. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Eddie Kennison hit a milestone in 2004, racking up over 1,000 yards receiving for the first time in his career. Another reliable target was number 80, Johnny Morton, who also experienced his best season with the Chiefs. Hey, he's gonna be on the post the next week. Johnny Morton. But the real poster player for the Chiefs passing game is tight end Tony Gonzalez. In 2004, he became the first tight end since Todd Christensen to lead the NFL in receptions. Gonzalez's 102 catches were also the highest single season total by a tight end in NFL history. But it's in the red zone where Gonzalez is the most spectacular. His ability to snag touchdowns would be a key ingredient in the Chiefs' late season surge. Going into the final stretch of the season, the Chiefs were 3-8. and eight. And with Priest Holmes sidelined with injury, bettering that record would be difficult. But the Chiefs never gave up. Want to throw long. He's throwing long. He's got Kennison open. Open under the Raider 25-yard line. Sprints off the hit. Kennison, 10, 5, touchdown. With two touchdowns in Oakland, Larry Johnson showed the Chiefs why he was 2003's number one draft pick. The following week, he showed a national audience. Draw play, Johnson, bursting 30-yard line, breaks a tackle, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! On Monday night in Tennessee, the Chiefs' offense exploded on the Titans. The defensive line also wreaked havoc on quarterback Billy Bullock, sacking him five times. In week 15, the Chiefs returned home to take revenge on the AFC rival Denver Broncos. The defense continued the same aggressive play with another five sacks. They also amassed two interceptions and showed Arrowhead the Chiefs defense never gave up trying. The ball pops out. It's a touchback. With 151 yards against Denver, Larry Johnson became the Chiefs' third 150-yard rusher in the 2004 season, an honor for the entire offensive unit. But Johnson wasn't the only player to impress in the final games of the season. Dante Hall quietly broke a franchise single season record with 1,718 kickoff return yards, scoring two touchdowns in the process. He's gonna catch him, steals in front of him. Dante Hall, 20, 15, 10, 5. Hello, Denver Broncos. Welcome to Dante's house. But Kansas City wasn't done.
Green turned in another flawless performance. Rookie Sammy Parker recorded his first NFL touchdown versus the Broncos on a 48-yard bomb. Driven by a great offense, an improving defense, and a coach who brought it all together, Kansas City won four of their last five games. Coach, you've uh, touched everyone in this locker room's life, uh, way beyond the football field. This is your game ball. We love you. Nice. <laughs> I promise you this, it'll be a very, very, very cherished, very, very cherished and much appreciated game ball. Believe me, because I know what you went through to get it done. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated, You're believe welcome. me. Huh? Love you guys, love you guys, thank you. Vermeil will return for his fifth season with the Proud franchise, and he will return with one of the most productive offensive units the NFL has ever seen. And that offense continues to grow. The defense is improving and hopes to get better in 2005. To ensure this, the Chiefs have attacked free agency. Pro Bowl performers like Kendrell Bell from Pittsburgh, Miami's Sammy Knight, and numerous others hope to complete a picture that is at times beautiful to watch. A new season is on the rise, and so are the Chiefs. Though Kansas City was one play away in 2004, they entered 2005 with fresh playmakers and their sights set on the ultimate prize in football.